All right, we are decluttering chic right now. I'm in comfy clothes. I worked out earlier. We are dry shampooed. Like, we are bare minimum, but I really wanted to share some chores that I'm gonna get done, some decluttering. I basically have two different drawers that I've been keeping skincare, makeup, things that I haven't used yet, some of it PR, some of it things I bought. I need to go through because none of them are open. I need to decide if I'm going to use them anytime soon or not. And then whatever I don't think I'll get to soon, I'm going to donate before it expires, especially since these things are unopened. So that is the goal today. That's the goal. I have done videos like this before. I call them chores and chat. So we'll chat while we do it about whatever comes to mind. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get these two drawers done because it has been a thorn in my side for a while. It's to the point where neither of the drawers can close very easily. And one of them is like right here in my bathroom. So you'll get to see them both in all their glory, but I'm hoping to really consolidate and really streamline what I have on backup. I mentioned in a previous vlog, I can link if you haven't seen it, that I am going to, I have been in the process of removing myself from all PR lists. Um, previously, I was removing myself from some and then it kind of, that number grew again. And I just decided it's just time to streamline what is coming into my house because it's too much for me to use. Like I said, I think I explained it better in the other video. So I also want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Ritual. So here's the deal. I have been taking Ritual's Essential for Women for years and years. I took their prenatal in both my pregnancies. I think I took it in Genevieve's too, pretty sure. I'm trying to think of how long ago I started using it. A long time ago. But about four or five months ago, I started taking Ritual's Symbiotic. It is a three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. Probiotics are live microorganisms, and they're there to relieve bloating and gas. And then the postbiotic provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and supports gut barrier function. So that three-in-one, I feel like, is what makes this so powerful. And of course, the idea is that it's supposed to support gut and digestive health, as well as immune health. And I will say, I have suffered a lot, I know a lot of us have suffered, I mean, take it lightly, but with bloating and just digestive issues over the years. And once I started taking this daily, regularly, maybe about four months ago, I have noticed, like I couldn't tell you the last time I felt bloated other than like that time of the month, which is wild. Like that is very abnormal for me and it's really exciting. I got Tyler on the symbiotic train. He is on his third bottle and he just asked me today like, hey, when's the next shipment coming in? Because I'm almost out. He loves it too. So it is a once daily capsule that you take. It's got the mint essence in there and it's also the delayed release capsule design, which I love because then it will make its way past your stomach to your colon, which is the ideal place for this to get to. Same goes for their essential for women. That also makes it gentler on the stomach. And the other thing I love is that it is made traceable like all of Ritual's products. You can pop on their site, see everything that is in this product, see why it's in there, where it's supplied from and also what are the studies that are backing up why they have it in that product. And of course, it's a subscription delivered to your house monthly. It is so easy, you don't have to think about it. And I, I am a changed person. I had heard about probiotics, prebiotics, postbiotics so much in the past few years. I never really understood its value in my life until I started taking a really good one that actually did something. So I'm changed <laughs> forever and I love this so much. I don't take this lightly. To be completely transparent, I'd been asked to talk about this product quite a while ago and I really wanted to test it for multiple months before I ever agreed to talk about it. So I feel really strongly about it. I'm choosing to focus on this today because it is, it is a game changer. It really is. Another bonus point, no refrigeration needed. So Ritual right now is offering you 20% off your first month. So if you're interested in the symbiotic, maybe just they're essential for women or for men, prenatal, postnatal, they have so many different products. So you can get 20% off your first month by scanning the QR code on the screen right now, or you can go to ritual.com slash jessicabron20 and use code jessicabron20 at checkout. Thank you so much, Ritual, for sponsoring this part of the video. All right, we are on the floor. Um, I grabbed a bag to be my donation bag. Usually I just make piles, but I'm like, Jessica, make your life easier. Just put it straight into the bag when you know you're done. So. Let me show you the drawer we're working with. So this is, like I said, this drawer originally was 
Tyler's in my shared drawer, and it still is, for, um, you know, if we bought a bulk pack of, let's say, toothpaste. That way, any of the extras that we're not using yet, that's where they would go. Extra toothbrush, those kinds of things, basically. It has now become where I've put any skincare that I either buy or I get in PR that I'm like, oh, I actually will use this, it goes in here. But now I can barely open and shut this drawer, so let me show it to you. I'm like lowering the camera. I think I'm gonna tell, I get, I'm getting my hair done um, in a couple days. I think I'm gonna tell her I don't want the money pieces anymore, because A, or at least I don't want it to be so drastic, but also it makes it even more obvious when your hair is grown out, so it's just one of those tricky, like, it can look really cute in certain lightings and very not cute in certain lightings like this one. So just, it's a judgment free zone, okay? Love you guys. Also, I need some coffee. What am I even doing? All right, so this is the drawer. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a few things back behind there, which is no surprise. Hopefully I can get out at some point. So I also, this also is where, like if I am doing a sponsored post with a pro, like with a brand, I'll get, usually they'll send extras just in case. And for example, this is one, but this is also a body wash I love and use. So I wouldn't get rid of this because I know once I'm ready for the next one, I would use it. So this is a backup that's a real backup. I also have a few products that I wasn't using a lot that I just threw in here that are open. So that's like the other thing. I don't know, what is this? Wait, is this the thing that goes with, not the toothbrush, but the like flossing thing? I don't even know. Got a backup of my, it's basically my next Lumi deodorant. This I was trying for a while. I just don't really like the Hemp's Age Defying Herbal Scrub. I just kind of felt like it wasn't as scrubby as I wanted. It does have glycolic acid, but I also, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan. I've tried a lot of scrubs. This was not a fave, but that one's open. So I might see if maybe a sister wants it. So maybe I do need two separate bags. Love, Gold Bond makes some of my favorite lotions for the body and their eczema relief cream is really good. I'm almost out, but when my legs are super itchy, which hasn't happened a lot lately, but when they are, this is what I use. So this is a brand new one, definitely not getting rid of. I bought this one intentionally. This is one I'd used for a while. I know so many people love. I just don't utilize it. I, I use other things, so it hasn't been something I was reaching for, so I might see if a sister wants this. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just not, I don't know. Kapari clarifying body pads. I love the idea of it, but I just don't end up reaching for it. And I don't think, oh, it is open. Hmm. I guess I'll see if a sister wants it. The Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. I don't like sprayers like this generally, unless it's like a, de oh, it is a detangler, LOL. Featherweight leave-in, let me see how it feels. I'm gonna think about this one because I do go through detangler pretty quickly, so I'll think about that. Got a lot of Olaplex. Um, oh yeah, Curls Cream. I'm gonna get rid of like some of these brands. This matter of fact is really nice, but I have so much other skincare. I'm gonna pass on while it's new. Someone will be psyched. Grande Lash, I am gonna hold on to. I'm actually trying a peptide-based one, but I don't, I bought this, so I don't wanna get rid of it until I'm sure that I found a different one I'm using, but um, yeah, I'm gonna keep that. May Love Face Cleanser. I have so many cleansers. This is not my favorite, so I think it's really good. I should say that. It's just not the one out of all of the ones I've tried. It's not the one I reach for a lot, so this is another one. Tyler would like this. This is a good one, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a little pile for Tyler there. These are makeup wipes. I have so many makeup wipes and I only use them for swatches, like I bought the Costco pack. So I don't really need this. I'm gonna see if someone else wants it. This would be a good donation since it's not opened. I am not gonna use this body bar. I love the idea of it in theory, but I, I just don't use bar soap. I'm gonna be honest, this is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. I don't really know why, it just is. I think, cause a lot of this I want to use, but I know, I mean, think about it. In the course of a year, how much skincare will I go through? And so much of this will expire in a year or two. It seems silly for it to just waste away in here to never be used. Even if it's something I genuinely in my head would use. Hated this toothpaste. Might see if Tyler wants it. He might, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, these are two WOW products that I didn't, I wasn't wowed by. <laughs> um, I don't think they're terrible, but like people swear by the Raise the Root. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Uh, this is the texture and finishing spray. I'm not gonna get rid of this because I'm almost out of hairspray and then I'll use this one up so that I'm gonna treat that as a backup. But this one, I just, I don't know. I haven't really seen the volume that I've seen in the videos that are on Facebook, so I'm gonna pass it on. Uh, I was like, why is this half open? It's my coconut lime. I switched this out for the candy cane version of this, but I, I will use this up too, so I'll pull that to the side. I don't really need this bar soap 
holder. Very excited to have this again, the Tatcha Rice Polish. This is a favorite. It's literally a powder you like put in your hand and get wet and clean your face that way. It is so unique and lovely. And so I haven't had this in years. So I'm definitely gonna keep. My face cleanser's almost gone. So that might be what I pull out next. Necessary body lotion backup, definitely keeping. Actually, I'm, I think I'm just about out of the one I have open, so that works. So I have this Living Proof Restore line, and I think I will keep because I gen generally like a lot from Living Proof. Like the leave-in I know I would use, and then the shampoo and conditioner seem nice too. So this might end up going in the girls' bathroom though. I sometimes shower in there, like, Tyler and I are both showering at the same time, whatever, um, because the shampoo and conditioner I use in my bathroom, I have like big liters of, so it's gonna be forever. <laughs> so these might end up going in their bathroom for me to use there. I also have the Olaplex that I definitely want to try out. I've never actually tried, I've tried some of their other products, but never their shampoo and conditioner. So those I definitely wanna try. I might just put in my shower to try because I'm curious. These are for the liters that I bought, but they actually came with them. So I don't really know what to do with these. So I'm just gonna put them to the side. We'll see. Got them on Amazon. I might be able to return them even still because I haven't used them and it wasn't that long ago. More of that matter of fact, um, this is a serum. I might see if Tyler wants this because he was just last night asking for a serum. Um, dry volume and texture spray. Let me think about it. Okay. Here's the thing, I love La Roche-Posay. These were from years ago. They sent me a lot of products and I, I mean, yeah, these all expired a few years ago. That one doesn't say an expiration date. So this one was 22, that one's 23. I'm sure they'd be okay, but I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't really know what to do with these. Maybe the newer ones try to donate or see. I can't imagine like these expiring would be like, it's not like it's doing anti-aging stuff, like a skincare that like it wouldn't be working anymore. I feel like it would still serve the purpose of body wash and body cream. So we'll see. I might try to donate them, but I might let them know like, yo, do what you want with these if they don't. This was pretty nice, this AeroVee Hydrating Toner. I just have not, it's got gunk on it, gross. Um, I have not been using toner very much lately. If I do, this is the one I reach for. I've talked about it in previous videos. Um, but I was trying to simplify up up above where I keep most of my skincare, so I put this down here. I might still keep it though, because I do like this product. So I have the, basically these are two very similar products. I just feel like I don't use texture spray as much anymore. And if I do want texture, I usually just use a hairspray. So I might just pass these on. This one is brand new, so I'll definitely donate that. This one's like half gone. I'm gonna think about probably give to a sister. I recently bought the JVN air dry cream and I honestly forgot about it, which is why, I mean, it was down here. So that sounds like I'm the one to blame. Um, so I'm gonna keep that. Ren toner, or I'm sorry, it's an essence. I liked it well enough. I just didn't feel like it made a huge difference. See, this is where I get torn. Cause like all of these, I'm like, I do like though, but how much can one person use of skincare? <laughs> I might see if a sister wants. Um, ooh, the cleansing oil. This is next on the docket to use from Tatcha. I love this stuff. It's so pricey for what it is, but I, it is such a luxurious experience. I was not a huge fan of the Virtue hair oil. It's, I only used it part of the way. Honestly, all of the Virtue products, they were expensive and I didn't feel that I noticed a huge difference in my hair. In fact, I felt like my hair felt drier using them. So that is gonna, I don't know, move on. The Laneige Water Bank Cleansing Foam. I might use because again, cleansers are something I go through fast enough and I've never tried this one. May Love Exfoliator. I'm gonna pass to Tyler since I have, a, I've been a little, I've backed off of exfoliating and toning a lot lately. So I'm gonna see if he wants that one. This Vitamin C from Polish Choice, I might run by him. Um, this Polish Choice, see this looks really good. This Barrier Repair Moisturizer. It's got peptides and ceramides. There's a reason I put it in here, that's for sure. Um, I also have some other barrier, like Skin Fix Cream, the Skin Fix Barrier Serum. Hmm. I'm gonna run those by Tyler. I just don't, I have so many other ones. Okay, the road stuff, I thought was just fine. I ended up putting it in here because I didn't, I just didn't need it. It's a Barrier Restore Cream and then this Glazing Milk. It was just one of those random things that didn't have, especially the glazing milk, a perfect spot in my routine at any point. She uses a lot when she's doing like, well, where's the glaze stuff, the other stuff? 
I don't know. I just, I don't think these are for me. I guess that's it. And if I'm going to be using a skincare, I'd rather use it from a really well-known trusted skincare brand. Not that this wouldn't be amazing too, but I mean, am I the only one that's a little leery with celebrity brands? I don't know. And I don't know why that is, but I just, I just always am. So um, yeah, I'm gonna see if a sister wants those. Tatcha Silk Serum. This one is actually nearly gone. So I either will move it to my empties. It's a retinol alternative, um, but I've just been using retinol itself. So I feel like I don't really need both, you know? These Heritage ones, I, was it the stronger or the flexible that I like? I think I'm going to keep the stronger hold and get rid of the flexible hold. Just knowing what I like. I'm gonna donate this Honey Halo. It's a really nice moisturizer. Don't need it. Um, okay, I have quite a few Tatcha. Gotten a lot of PR from them. I have so many of the Dewy Skin Creams. Tyler loves these too. So he actually pulled one of these out of my donation pile because I have, like I said, it takes me a while to go through one of these. So to keep like four of these on backup seems crazy when I know someone else in my life would be ecstatic to use it and I'd rather share the love. So... I'm gonna put these up here and see if Tyler wants them. I think he might be confusing this one with this one. I think he would like it better. So I'm gonna put that in his pile and see what he wants to do with that. This Briogeo Scalp Revival is old and gross. I don't know why it's in there, it needs to go. It's a really good product though. Totally forgot I had this. I repurchased the IGK Expensive. Um, it's kind of, I look at it like a deep conditioner, but it kind of makes your hair shinier. I loved this, repurchased, it got put in here and I totally forgot, so definitely keeping. I love Anissa's brushes. I'm not super into skincare brushes, so I'm gonna pass those on. I get the appeal, but it's just, you know. Um, the Indigo Overnight Repair is like one of my all-time favorite skincare products. This is, I think, the only backup I have, so definitely keeping. These little Ren products, this Innersense, those Innersense products I was not a huge fan of. First Aid Beauty, there's so much to pass on. This is so great, you guys. First Aid Beauty um, Cleanser and their Ultra Repair Cream. These are both so good, but do I need them, you know? Some more matter of fact stuff. Bliss, I'm just gonna donate. Oh, I've got my backup flosses. I use Cocoa Floss, I love it. These are the kinds of things that are supposed to be in this drawer that I should be able to find and see. You know what I mean? Um, I've got a mini grande lash I'm gonna donate. Um, this Ren Overnight Recovery Balm is lovely, but I don't need it right now. Peptide Booster Polish Choice is lovely, but I'm gonna donate. The Neutrogena Hand Cream I love, but I have a giant hand cream I'm going through, so it would be forever before I like actually use that. Um, another of the Wow Dream Coat. I didn't think this did, you have to use like half the bottle to get the results. It's just not worth it. I'd rather pass this on. Someone would be ecstatic to try that. This toner from Polish Choice is so good, but again, I'll leave that for Tyler because I know he uses that. Living Proof. Okay, I already have one of these, the Triple Bond Complex. So I'm gonna donate that one. This was from, I should probably just toss, I guess. Metro Gel, it was from when I had really bad perioral dermatitis, like the rash on my face, um, that I really do think was from plumping things. So this, I, I don't need. I also don't think this worked. I think cutting out a lot did, but who knows? Regardless, uh, I don't need it anymore. So these, the face cleanser's really good. They're, they're both really good, but do I need, need it? I don't think so. So. I'm gonna pass that on. And then the cleanser I probably will keep because again, same reasoning, I go through cleansers pretty quickly. So these have been fallen out of here, little cotton rounds. Um, some more Olaplex, number three, and then this oil. I'm not a big fan of oil, so I think I'm gonna pass that one on. Um, these Killer Curls, it's like a curl cream. It's the only curling product I have. I bought it at the salon I go to, so I'm gonna keep it because it worked really well. And so if I ever get back in the mood to do my more natural wavy curls, which I'm sure I will, I will have that. So keeping that, the number three hair perfector I do like, I've used a lot in the past, so keeping as well. I feel like, see, this is the problem. I have this hair perfector. What else do I have? Didn't I have another one or no? Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I got rid of it. Okay, perfect. This is so good. The La Roche-Posay Cicloplast Balm. Is this the one I have opened or not? Yeah. Uh, this, I swear to you, is what actually healed my perioral dermatitis. So this is a forever have in my life product. Anything of any like Sika type product is usually really good. Skincare brush, donate. I don't think I even realized I had these cotton swabs down here. I have more up there, so I'm gonna combine them. This is the eye cream I'm gonna use next from First Aid Beauty, the retinol eye cream I just got. So I'm excited to try that. All right, so now we're getting into the nitty 
Pretty. Finishing hair cream, what is this? I don't even know what this is, so donate. Oh, here's the other part of those things. This is to like squirt water in your teeth to help, and it's a long story, but anyway. Don't know if we still need that. So we've got a few toothbrushes. Um, I can go with that. This looked so nice, the Kiehl's Barrier Cream, so I'm not ready to get rid of that yet because it looks like something I might wanna try. There's the other road product. This is the peptide glazing fluid. This I might keep out of all of the products, but I would probably put it in my primer drawer. So I'm gonna keep it, put it in there, see if I use it. I had no idea we had all of these little travel toothpaste. I'm sure they're from our dentist when we go, you know, like twice a year for the cleanings and stuff. I had no idea. I didn't know I had this wet brush. I don't even think that's used. I don't need. Nail polish remover is old. Kids toothbrush, that should go in my kid's bathroom. This is super old. Um, I had really sensitive teeth for a while, um, so this is like higher fluoride concentration. Uh, back, it was back when I was pregnant, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna see if Tyler wants these flosses. I use the cocoa floss, like I said. I think we could probably donate all of those, and honestly, I'm gonna donate these as well, just because I know that would be something useful. You know, so in here, what's left is more of this. Maybe he does use this. I'll ask him. This will be one I ask him about, and if he doesn't, we can donate. So a small aquaphor. We've got our like replacement heads for our toothbrush. Um, an open thing of Dove soap. That is kind of nice to have on hand. Like when my skin was freaking out, this is what I was using, and it it's just like it's the best. It's the best. It's so simple and so good. So. These are for like doing your hair and I think they could go with my hair stuff up here. Probably makes more sense. Um, these are toothbrush covers. And then this is shampoo for Mr. Pinocchio. So um, actually he could use a bath. So I'm gonna put that out as a reminder that we need to give him a bath. All right, so we're pretty much done. I'm gonna clean out this drawer and then we can start putting things back in. bins that could work in here um, just to get a little more organized we'll see for example you know the little my floss refills that kind of thing it'd be nice to have a smaller thing for those so that works out really nicely um, and then this is my like toothpaste squeezer so those can just kind of go in there maybe like that. so I was thinking maybe have hair care in one this is just gonna be so nice as I can see what I've got um, So that leaves body care, oh, that's hair care as well, um, which is really just a few products. So I think I'm just gonna put these back here. They don't necessarily have to be in a thingy. That's skincare, that's skincare. Body care, body care. Keeping the grande lash for now. And then if I need the Dove soap, I've got it. Okay, not bad. It feels, it may not be perfectly pretty, but I can see everything. It doesn't feel like there's no possible way for me to use this up. Like having this bit of skincare, that's, I don't think that's crazy. This is so much better. And then if Tyler does keep some of those skincares, I know a lot of times he keeps his backups just under his thing, but he could also put his in here um, if he wanted. Oh, I feel like um, this, is, this is so much better. And look at that. I can close the drawer. All right, so now we're in our little office here. Um, this is the other PR drawer. So there's still some skincare in here, but most of this generally was like makeup. Um, and this is exciting, because once I clean this out, I've gotten myself off, I think, most of the lists, then I will A, be able to use this drawer for something else. If I am being transparent with you guys, I might be getting rid of <laughs> most of my makeup collection. I will always do makeup videos here, but I think I've been watching quite a few of some of my favorite creators too. And I think we're all, a lot of us have been doing this a long time. Like I've been doing this for now, in a few months, it will be 11 years. And even though I plan to still do makeup videos all the time at the same rate I'm doing them now, so nothing's changing in that regard, but I've definitely hit a point where I'm like, but I don't really reach into this very much. Like, do I need to keep this backlog of products if I'm really not often going into them for any reason, like I always think, oh, I'll be, I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus. I always think, okay, no, I can compare, but generally if it's something I'm using regularly, I would have it to be able to compare with. So I don't know. 
I, it's something I'm toying with. Um, honestly, I know I declutter a lot on my channel and a lot of you guys love that. I'm, I mean, you're literally watching this video. I don't know if that would be something I just do. I think it'd be easier to just rip off the band-aid and do it in one fell swoop. I don't even know that I would film it because I think, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Would you wanna see it? I have a feeling a lot of you guys watching this video would, but um, yeah, I don't know. Just just sharing where my mind is at. So I'm gonna get rid of most of this, if I'm being completely honest. I, I wanna keep like maybe a handful of things. I've got another bag to donate because everything in here is untouched, unused. This is gonna be awesome. Eye masks, I, I just don't use. Um, generally things from Too Faced, I don't anymore feel like I love. Um, I usually, I should say this. <laughs> I just don't usually have the desire to try a lot from Too Faced. A lot of their launches, I'm like, mm, I don't know why that is. So these, this is the Naked Sundays Mineral Glow Serum Drops SPF 30. That looks kind of cool. So I might just keep the pearl one and get rid of the bronze and the illuminating, just keep the pearl because I certainly do not need all of them. This is a body scrub, but I have plenty. Any of the nails are so cute. I'm gonna donate because I, I generally always go and get my nails done. Um, if I didn't, 100% I'd be using these. These are amazing. Honestly, a lot of the times when I'll see on Instagram nails that I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. They're almost always press on. So. If you do press-ons, you keep doing you because they always end up looking so good. Um, glow stick, I'm not gonna use. The Tower 28 Barrier Cream. Again, if I'm gonna use a cream like this, I'm probably just going to use one of my skincare creams. Not that this isn't skincare, but just being honest. Grande Mascara. Let me think about. Some of these things in here survived the move. When I moved away from the workspace initially, I got rid of a lot, but I kept a lot of stuff that I thought I might want to use. And um, a lot of that's still in here. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I got so much from Buxom. I already pulled out what I'm gonna use. So like, there's no reason to keep all of those when I know I've already, see, no, that's used. Why is that in here? The Revlon Cream Shadows. I wonder if I was aiming for my palette drawer, which is right below. I'm like, how would that have even gotten in there? Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna add these on. This is another of my favorite bronzer brush, but I have like three of these, so kind of like, do I pass it on? I think I do. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, but I, I've had this before, I don't really, I like it, I just don't end up using it. Some more skincare. Some of these, I'm like, do they even still make the Buxom Staycation bronzer? I don't even know if they still do, you know? Bioma Brightening Serum. Ooh, now hold on. Um, ceramides, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. Okay, I might keep that. I liked the Bioma um, cleansing balm, so this might be something that I end up trying out. So I'm gonna chat with you guys. I promised that we would like chit chat as well, and then I got way too sidetracked. Um, so how are you guys doing? How is life? Um, I feel like I, I was telling Tyler the other day, I've been doing a new Bible study and just having some really big realizations about life that I've never really had about, see like poor, poor Eclipse setting spray, but would I use that? I just don't think I will. Putting a couple maybes down here, I'll chat with you guys about in a minute. And I, I don't really even know how to like explain that, but I just feel like I'm having, I for the past few years have been having a lot of, re, I almost said relevations, what? Revelations? about myself and just, I don't know. And I finally feel like I'm coming to the other side in a really good way where I'm like, I don't know, like I'm just feeling very good. And it's been so nice. So if you're someone where you're going through some kind of transformation, for me, a lot of it had to do with religion. A lot of it had to do with, what is playing? Oh, I have Parks and Rec playing. I totally forgot I had, <laughs> I should probably go turn it off. If you're watching this and you're going through you know, a time where you are transforming. Maybe you're shedding some layers of some things that just aren't serving you anymore. Whether it's guilt or shame about something, whether it is um, doing something against the grains of what people expect of you. I think, I, I feel like there really is another side to that. Like once you get through that, it might take a few years of shedding those layers and getting to the other side. But I really do feel like when you do, it's so much more powerful because you feel like you yourself brought yourself there. Not that, you know, like for me as a Christian, I'm like, well, 
you know, I prayed so hard through all of this and I think he helped me. But regardless, you know what I'm saying. Like, I just think that sometimes it's easier to not go against the grain, whether it's like your family or people around you, but there's beautiful life on the other side of doing what you feel is right and making decisions for yourself and or your family um, that may differ from what other people around you are saying you should do. And I know I'm being cryptic, I'm not meaning to be, but I guess my point is I finally feel like I am on the other side and it is just, it's just so exciting. It's just so, so exciting. And I'm feeling very, so much more in control of my life and so much more of an adult, which I know might sound silly to some of you, but I know some of you guys totally know what I mean. Like when for a while, I feel like so much of my life, I just felt like I wasn't really in control. I was just kind of floating through. We're having some deep conversations here while I <laughs> just get rid of a ton of makeup. <laughs> it's a really weird vibe. Or <laughs> it's a really weird vibe. Some of these are so old, oh my gosh. So my point is, if you are going through one of those transformatory times in your life, stick to it. If you know what you're doing is right, stick to it because I really think you will be so proud of yourself in the end. I really do. And I love you. Okay, I love you. <laughs> and I'm rooting for you. All right, we pretty much just got rid of everything, y'all. I, I mean, honestly. Okay, so let me show you what I have in front of me and it is very, very little. I might try that. So what I've got left here is the Bioma Serum, like I showed you the Murad Essential C vitamin, or no, SPF, which I absolutely love. Did I already, yeah, the Naked Sundays that I showed at the beginning. And then I'm keeping these milk makeup products. This is an eyeliner and this is their clear brow gel. I know I've tried it in the past, but just something I tend to like. So um, the Lawless Hydrating and Soothing Prime, Smoothing Primer Serum, I'm gonna keep. I'm curious what the, oh, that's cute. I like the packaging. Go ahead and take that box out. This is already used, so I wouldn't. Really pretty. We're just gonna put it on. I think I'm gonna keep this. It's the Hourglass. It's in the shade Oasis. It is their unlocked lipstick. I remember this being decently moisturizing. I don't know why it was in there. My lippy drawer is under the palette drawer, so it goes my PR stuff that we just went through, then my palettes and my lippy. So I'm like, I wonder if I meant to put it in there. I like that color though, right? So. Let me, I'll keep this for now, but eventually when I declutter my lips, we'll kind of see where that lands. But then I'm also keeping the Better Than Sex eyeliner, the liquid liner. I'm gonna pass on this exfoliant from Paula's Choice. Um, the Daydream Cream I'm keeping, this is from Provence Beauty, but I think it might be a dupe for something else I've been trying. So kind of want to try those side by side. See, this is what I mean. Like in my mind, I couldn't do what I do, like finding dupes if I didn't have this whole collection to compare to. But a lot of times the dupes I'm testing, I have intentionally bought to test because I'd heard their dupes or it's something I already use and love all of the time. So it wouldn't be in here, it'd be in my vanity. And so then I find a dupe for it and I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's not usually things from my backlog of makeup that I'm even pulling from. I would say 85% of the time I'm not pulling from this. So anyway, and then just a few other things, the Maybelline Plump, oh no, no, no. I'm now seeing it's chili pepper. So no, that is that is getting passed on, Never mind. Um, and then this House Labs eye thing that I'm pretty sure, oh my gosh, I remember buying this. This was something I actually bought versus PR. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, we're gonna keep that. Wow. And then this Merit Lippy that I think I have another shade of I really like. This is the shade Eau Naturale. So I definitely want to keep that. And then this Laura Mercier hand cream I might put in my purse. That's it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 products out of all of those. All of these are getting donated. That drawer is now empty. Um, so what I'm gonna do is instead of putting these in there, I'm gonna move them to where they would go. So like the couple of skincare products are gonna go to skincare. And then these things, I'm gonna go move to my vanity so that I use them. Problem solved, right? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was um, kind of a weird mishmash of decluttering and chatting about like way deeper life stuff. And then, I don't know, it was a weird video, but these are things I really needed to get done. So I appreciate you guys coming along with me, especially if you watched all the way to the end, if you did. Please put down, um, let's see, three star emojis. And then also, will you answer this question? 
What are your thoughts on PR? You, if you are watching this video, have probably watched YouTube for a while. What are your thoughts on it? I feel like the general um, consensus used to be if eight years ago, if I had asked you guys like viewers of YouTube about PR, so many people were against it because they were like, no, like it sways the opinion of the person that's trying the product. But then it kind of became so common that I feel like that became less of a worry. And I don't worry about that. Like people I watch, I'm never worried that because it was in PR, they're like giving it a glowing review because generally PR <laughs> is harder to get off the list than you think. Like, and also it could really backfire on the brand if they were like, well, you gave our product a bad review. We're gonna stop sending you PR. Don't you feel like, like I feel like that would backfire on the brand just being like butthurt that you didn't like their product when that's the whole point, right? So. I don't know, I'm, I'm just always curious what your guys' view on that kind of thing is. So I think there's nothing wrong with it. Like me trying to get off these lists is not anything against people getting them. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It really is, like I said, just for me to be able to streamline my life. Like I need to do this for myself. <laughs> anyway, I hope this came across the right way. I'm always concerned with videos like this that obviously if you were not used to watching this kind of video, you'd be like, what in the world? Like, why would this person get rid of all of this really nice stuff and all of that? I think most of you guys get what I'm, I've been trying to say. Okay, enough over explaining, Jessica. 2024 is gonna be the year where you stop over explaining everything. Anyway, I love you all so much. Again, thank you to Ritual for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you are ready to try out Ritual's products, whether it is their essential for women or for men, their prenatal or postnatal, or perhaps you wanna try my new favorite, the Symbiotic, you can scan the QR code on the screen to get 20% off your first order, or you can go to ritual.com slash jessicabron20 and use code jessicabron20 at checkout. Thank you again to Ritual. Thank you guys. I hope you subscribe, stick around. If you like declutter videos, I'll link my playlist. I've been doing them for years, baby. And they're usually pretty cutthroat. This may be the most cutthroat I've ever been, but they're usually pretty good. So if you're into it, definitely check that out. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.